Welcome once again to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Elon Paul, and once again, we're going to be doing the Anomaly mission for the weekend. Um, we do have updates in the foreseeable future. We know there have been uh, several things going on about updates coming, things in the beta realm, things that they're testing in No Man's Sky, and there's a lot of folks out there that have access to that and can test those things, but I tend to sit back and watch myself. Anyway, we are going to be doing the Anomaly mission today, and we're going to check out what's in store in there and see how far we've come in regards to getting all the other attributes that we can get through the Quicksilver menus. So let's get started. A little bit out of sorts today. Sorry. Been playing a different game for a little while, so it tends to get stuck in the brain, if you will. All right. Why don't we take something a little different today? I'm always taking my uh, ship over there. Why don't we take something Speeder, uh, my living ship, of course. Uh, let's see. Golden Vector. Wow, we haven't done that one in a while. Why don't we do that? Yeah, let's do the Golden Vector. There we go. Let's see how we're doing in here. Yep, looks like we've got everything in order in here and inside here. Lots of stuff that I really don't need sitting in my inventory. Love that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of damage. Okay, good deal. Hyperdrive range is pretty good. All right. Pretty good maneuverability. Let's go ahead and go. We're going to go old school. All right. Before we get started, we probably have our multiplayer turned on right now, which is perfectly fine. I'm going to check that out real quick. And that's general settings. I know where it's found. Don't worry. Oh, no, it is. We'll go ahead and enable that today. That way we get a couple extra players showing up in there. Hope everybody's had a great week. Well, those that aren't, or sorry, I hope uh, things get And, uh, yeah, so let's see what we've got going on. Uh, looks like we've got a starting player over there. Oh, I just literally just about ran into another starting player ship here. Gotta love those. Alright. Obviously, we got some nice starships. Alright, let's go ahead and check this out. We'll do the anomaly mission first and we'll check out the quick silver menu, as we usually do. Alright. What do we got? Bow of my foe, we gotta rescue a stranded life form. 1800 Quicksilver, 5 star, sh star Shield Batteries. You'll notice we've also got this interesting mission over here. So maybe what we'll do is we'll do both of these. It just disappeared. Fascinating. Alright, let's go ahead and do Foe of my foe. And we'll come back and check that out and see if that pops up again. Shall we? Initialize, start, and yes. And on we'll go. I don't think we've grouped up with anybody. Find out in a minute. And away we go. Royal Blade. I will probably kick you out of my group if you're part of it. I apologize. Not part of the MO. Not part of my MO in order to get these things done. Got to wait for it to tell us where we're going. There it is. Okay. Kind of makes sense in that we're speaking. Off we go. So let's scan the planet, see what kind of system we're in here. Which also are activated in Neo again. So we're in one of the blue star systems. So if you don't have those, oh, this is going to be fun. Hopefully it's on the other planet. That's an aggressive center planet. Uh, we'll see. It looks like we are you're looking at the first planet, not the one on the other side. How close are these planets? They're water planets too. This could be a great place to do a uh, rocket, rocket uh, chair to the moon, if you will, or rocket chair to another planet. Yeah, we could do that. All right, interesting. Is this aggressive too? Nope. Harsh blue globe. It says it's anything but blue, if you ask me. And it looks like we are headed for Wayfinder. Uh, no, nope, we're not going to head towards you. We're trying to get to the. So is this an approximate location, or 
Let's find out. Speak to the stranded life form, so... I got a question mark. Let me just go ahead and do a scan real quick. I don't seem to be finding anything. I don't think he's right there. He's probably on the other side of this tall mountain. I don't know how I feel about those. Uh, I don't see anything. Oh, and begin search. Yeah, great. But you know what? I think we see something right in front of us. So I'm going to go ahead and try landing here. And then we'll take a scan. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. It's over this way. About 500 units. So it might be actually up there. All right. Let's go ahead and just blast off and check it out. He might be uh, on top of that mountain. Let's see what we got here. You know what we could do? Let's go into first person mode and check to see if we see a ship. We do. Straight in front of us. Right up here. And there we go. Okay. Now, prepare yourself. We are going to need the ter terrain manipulator to dig in order to find things. So let's, uh, out, we'll, we'll go through this step by step. Let's just talk to this guy first. Traveler. Oh, we got a traveler in this case. Traveler flinches. They stare at me oddly as though they can see right through me. Forlornly, Traveler Edelex shows me their ship's melted navigation computer. This part is far beyond repair, but it could potentially be replaced. Okay, so we have assessed the situation. And now we got to find a working component. Now, if you hit your F button, or if you, that is if you're using PC, you will do a search, and it's going to target sweep until you can find a part. The part it's looking for is buried technology. So let's go ahead and grab the buried technology. Now, I'm actually, instead of doing my usual mode of going into first-person view and picking it up, I'm going to go ahead and blast through like normal. And once you pick this up, be advised, there's a possibility you could get attacked. So be prepared to change over to a weapon. Okay, ready? I keep pressing the wrong button. Okay, encrypted navigation computer. Okay, nothing going on. Is this the right encrypted navigation computer? Let's find out. So what we're going to do is we're going to analyze it in our exosuit. There it is. Encryption terminal located. Okay, we got very fortunate this time to find it on the first shot. Sometimes you don't find it on the first shot. Sometimes it takes about 12 shots to get it. So, and I'm still not being attacked. So what will probably happen, let's see if we get attacked if we go there. How interesting. We have to go off planet to find this thing. Our ship is over here. Let's go ahead and do it. You know what? No harm in checking, right? Might just get some nanites out of it, because, you know, we all always need more, right? Yay. <laughs> bad habit. All right, let's go. That's a good habit, actually. It's not a bad habit. All right, where are we going? That way. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't, being able to take off from the planet. Looks like it's on the aggressive sentinel planet is where we're going here, so... And it looks like somebody's already had our decryption terminal, so we can fight off some Yeah, look at that. Some 
a compatible device. So it looks like he fought off everything that was there. That was very nice. So we can just get this done. Look at that. So if you are in multiplayer mode, you can run into that situation where somebody else takes care of it all. So keep that in mind. And now we're decrypted, and we can thank... His century. I have one. So I just haven't activated it in a while. Okay, very good. All right, so I guess this is done here. We can already get out of here. So he's already taken off. Let's see that. Why am I getting a special use now? Well, let's find out. No? Okay. I guess we're out of here. Excellent. So that is about the easiest way you can get these things done. I've never had it so quick and easy before. So we have to head back to our buddy, which is... Everybody's saying hello. It's kind of hard to see it, unfortunately, amongst all the people who are chatting away over here. All the chat box. Okay, let's go ahead and just get away from the planet a little bit. I know it's on the other side of this planet here, but we're having a little difficulty finding it because of all this. It's the only problem we have. Alright, let's go up this way. See, I'm lined up. I, uh, there it is. Now it's finally showing up. Okay, good deal. Couldn't even see it. And first time in, in forever that I literally locked onto a communication beacon. And rather than the actual... like the trails from my golden vector. So this is about the easiest you've ever seen me play a stranded life form version of it. Mainly because I decided to turn on multiplayer and the multiplayer actually worked out in my favor this time. So if you don't like fighting sentinels, find someone who can join me and you can fight off the sentinels instead. Alright, let's get up here. Traveler Edelix. The traveler flinches to stare at me oddly, so I can see right through me again. We're gonna give him the navigation computer, and he immediately disappears and leaves. Doesn't even wave goodbye. But we've rescued the life form, so let's go ahead and head back and get our prize. And if you want to make a base on this planet in order to come back to it, because it is an indium or blue system, if you do not have that kind of hybrid right yet, then now you can. Excellent. All right. And we want to pull in the anomaly. Quickest mission we've ever had. And like I said, we're going to check the uh, Nexus real quick while we're here and just see if that other mission shows up. There we go. So, we've completed the mission. We got our 1800 Quicksilver, and we get our five Starship batteries, which are probably gonna be in my Starship inventory right now. Let's just check this real quick, because I'm trying to curious as to whether that mission's gonna show back up again. I don't see it in here. No, I don't. You can do other Quicksilver missions if you wish. You can do up to three in a day, and then once those three are gone, you can get them once a day. So those little icons on the right-hand side tell you what you're looking for. So that special mission kind of disappeared. Next time I'll go ahead and check it out. All right, but let's check the Quicksilver vendor. It looks like we've got three people here trying to get into the Quicksilver vendor. Right, looks like I can access them. 
There we go. Okay, good. What's available? It looks like we have the second unlockable hologram, which is Hologram Frigate. I'm looking forward to getting either the Starship or the System. I like those two. I'm looking forward to those. But let's go ahead and get the Hologram Frigate. And we've got that, and that's next. So we're just into, or just past Tier 2, and we're about, the, what is it, 1% into Tier 3 right now. So slowly we'll work through these, and as we get towards the end of this, we can watch very carefully to see if an expedition starts appearing. We are in August right now. I expect the next one's probably going to be in September. I'll probably have a little less involvement than I did last time, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so that takes care of that. Um... Let's just check one more time. I don't see any special icons appearing. Nope. Nothing shows up. So that's very, very interesting. Watch for the purple icon to appear on the left-hand side, and you'll get a special mission. The next time I see that, I'm going to grab it and see if I can't record it. So, but in the meantime, folks, let's head back to the ship. Oh, looks like he's dropping off uh, Atlas Passes. Nice, that's very nice. Infusion igniter, stasis devices, very expensive items. Those are very, very nice. Psycho Killer 1337, or fleet, if you will. Very nice. Very good of you to do so. Uh, some people appreciate it, some people don't care. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, someone like me, I don't really need any of those, but thank you very much. And that is what this is all about. That's what the community is about, folks. That's what makes No Man's Sky a fantastic game. So I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, we're going to go ahead and call it here. And we will see you all next time in the next video. Take care, everybody.